Ducks looking to bounce back after their first loss of the season, taking on the Chaminade Silver Swords. Here's the bracket. So Wisconsin and Houston both move on to the semifinals on Tuesday. It'll be at 5 Eastern on ESPN. And we are getting set to have our first semifinalist here in the bottom half. Aggressive early on, Gary, the transfer from Syracuse. He was part of that team that went to the Sweet 16 for the Orange. Yeah, Gary is going to have an advantage because when you guard him with a center, he has the ability to put the basketball on the floor, drive it to the rim as he did on the last possession. Right. Used to seeing. So Oregon off to a slow start. We talked about it in the open, the biggest upset in college basketball history when Chaminade beat Virginia. Where would this rank if Chaminade could upset Oregon? Well, it wouldn't be anywhere near as close to that. <laughs> You know, Oregon right now seems tight. And again, when you're coming off a performance like they had against BYU, Williams from straight away knocks down the triple. Bad taste out of their mouth. I know that Coach Altman wants to be done with that BYU loss. He doesn't want them to hurt them again on this day. Kept on calling for the ball inside that jump hook. It is so hard to guard that. And that's with the kick out. This is Storm trying to beat the buzzer front rim. The cold shooting continues for Chaminade. Williams, he'll line one up on the other end. That's two in a row from downtown. And the defensive intensity as well. Young's three off the mark. Shot clock to reset down to 10. Driving. Nice lefty finish. Jacob Young, the red shirt senior. Their leader type, and I believe he needs to take over more of a leadership role for this team to be successful. Good pass in the corner. Extra pass to the big fella. Frank Ketnong with the hammer. And it's uh, uh, of, of Utah and uh, Ralph didn't play in that game because he didn't travel well. He felt kind of sick. We won the game anyway, and and then two days later we played. Uh, I, I don't even know if, uh, if if you would call them upsets, but you know there were just some monumental games. I mean the Duke uh, Kansas game it went in overtime and what you would call the upsets. Uh, the time that I epic remember, game was 2018. Yeah, well I do remember. The time before that was Rick Barnes was uh, the head basketball coach at Texas. And to seven, Young knife feet through the lane. He has rejected Kevin Kramer. Nice block. Christensen out ahead, reverses, protects the ball. When you're that hot. Shot clock down to five. Soros, does he see it? At one, a step back three. Tough shot. Okay. And just like that, Shamanai's trying to find a way to get back into it. Oregon helping with their missed shots of their own. They still haven't gotten to a rhythm offensively, knocking down shots. You get a wide open look like that, you have to take advantage Rizelle of it. Zell Watkins. Guys for both teams tonight. There's an open look for Garrier. Those are shots Williams was knocking down, but Ketnang stays with it. You can't continue to allow Oregon to get so many shots on the basket. That puts a lot of pressure on your defense. Deep shot, looking good. Joseph Smoyer, the 6'11 grad student, out. a seven-point lead for the Ducks under a minute to play here in Vegas. I mentioned Kyle Milligan, the associate head coach. His coach, his coach Bovere, said he's still an Oregon fan, but right now he's got to be a fan of getting Russell Martin in that spot. 30 seconds to play here in this first half. Shot clock down to 10. This zone is causing problems for Oregon, but look, getting through. Nice job knifing through the defense by Davion Harmon. Gets the Amaral R3 into the paint off the window. Look at Skying for the board. That's Paris Taylor up and in. That's the dude who was throwing down windmills in warm-ups. And that's what you see now attacking that glass. And this is a smaller Oregon starting lineup. They don't start a traditional center. You gotta like the play by Jacob Young. Attack Goal in this zone for Oregon. Shot clock at seven. Rejection. That's Harmon with the block. Ducks running the break. Young laying it in. Has had a chance to pull it. But when I watch Quincy Garrier catch the basketball on the wing with no one that can defend him, pass basket. inside. Eric Williams with the jam. Great find by Davion Harmon there. Swinging around the wing, corner three ball. That is a good look in possession. Davion Harmon with the. 
I don't think Dana Altman had a few things to say to his club in the locker room to get them ready for this second half. Chaminade switching things up there in the 1-3-1. One, one. Back to man and Ketmo. That is a man's dunk. And Watkins got to go. And here comes Williams on the breakout going one-on-one -on -one with his left. Gets it to go. All right. I've sold. So you, you got you got them splitting? I think splitting. Okay. Yeah. All right, so next question. Do okay. they beat Duke or do they beat UCLA? Am I the play-by-play -play or the analyst? <laughs> I mean, what, what are we doing? Now they'll work the offense through Dante. Dante with the hook. Pretty move. And that's what he can give the Ducks. He's dive, especially in college basketball, with this being his sixth year. That is the 13th turnover of the ball game for Shamanad. Harmon going up strong. U16, U17 team for USA Basketball. That's the Davion Harmon we're watching right now. Amaral R3 with a not run for Oregon. Storms hedges on the screen, but Dante left open underneath. The reverse is good. But, and, you know, they're great to match my gray hair. You know, my favorite color. And then, of course, you also got my sunglasses. I'm going to have to break out my sunglasses at some point. Dante with the two-handed slam. When you have this size, and that's been a difference maker for Oregon here in the second half. They've been attacking the painted area. Well, think about the Pac-12. There are just so many quality big men in the Pac-12. Think about it as a recruiting tool. You can tell a guy coming in, not only do you get to go to school in Hawaii, you get to play in the Maui Gym Maui Invitational against some of the best teams in the country. Nice shot clock possession. Nice possession as the shot clock was winding down as Isaac Johnson lays it in. More importantly, gets a great possession for his team. Young, wide open. And here comes the break for Shamana. Now they have numbers going the other way. Laying it in is Zach McIntyre. Own flashes of just how athletic they are. They really do. And they've got a number of guys. You mentioned it. They've, I watched them in practice yesterday. They've got a few guys that can really get out put on a show when they get to the rim. There's McIntyre with the steal of the year. How about the flush? Trending Christensen. I think that's something that Dana Altman has found is being able to play his big guys in which he didn't come in with a tremendous amount of confidence with as Davion Harmon knocks down his second three from the corner. Isaac Johnson, both his young bigs getting an opportunity. And of course, we know Frank Kepnon gave them great energy in the first half. Look at that defense by Harmon jumping the hand off. Look out! <laughs> Soares soaring through the air. But did situation, if you've got a guy like Will Richardson, you've got Eric Williams, who are returners for a team that's been successful. I think it takes a little while to establish your voice, but I'm on team. But when you get actual reps against another team, it always helps you, especially building that confidence that you can play at this level. Look at Johnson keeping the ball alive. Stop shooting floaters, young people. McIntyre with the step back. That looked good. That was a two. Watkins, he was so good early on. That shot just doesn't fall. He's got 11 points, but he sticks with it. Now he leads Chaminade. He's got 13. War in the game, so guys on the end of the bench getting some minutes here for Oregon. And that becomes important when you play three games in three days. As Johnson is really starting to have himself a ball game. Turning over that right shoulder with the left hand, finishing. And Dana Altman and his staff, they're high on Johnson. They know that he can be good. He and Biddle can form a... It's the way they've bounced back here after suffering the loss. I believe the second half was great. When you consider the way that they came out and competed. Biddle, he's been battling. Sky hook off the mark. Soares pulls down an offensive board. This is right goal. Rattles in the three. Hold it up, shooter. See, that's the thing. You. They ran away with this game. They really did. That was the difference in this game. The mentality to attack the rim, put pressure on Shamanas' defense, make them block your shot, in which they were unable to do. So a shot clock violation. As Oregon has called off the dogs, it is 1.7 to play here. At the horn. And that'll do it. Dana Altman's crew, after losing to BYU big, a bounce back win here in Las Vegas. Winners 73-49 over Chaminade.